Uh, um, my name is uh, uh, Dave Swallow Jr. You know, and uh, I was born uh, on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation and lived there all my life. You know, and uh, in the Lakota way, uh, my name is Wawita Yuhamani, which translates into uh, "Walk with Pride." You know. I was given that name, you know, by my Lakota people. So I live in two worlds, you know. Actually, three, three worlds. You know, I live in all of I, I live in in them and all of them at the same time. You see, my first world that I live in is how you see me dressed. You know, camouflage myself into the modern society, so I look like a modern man. And the uh, other one is I live as a, a prisoner of war on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, Camp Number 344, you know. And the other one is what we tell you how many, you know, I live as a spiritual person, say, like that. So I live all three of them in those, you know, at the same time today, you know, like that. The message that I'm supposed to bring is uh, the message we call Mitakwe Oyasne. Metakwe Oyasne is a Lakota word meaning all my relations, you know, all my relatives, which includes the tree, you know, the earth, the sky, the air, the water, everything, you know. And uh, all the four legged and things that crawl and the two legged and things that fly. The Creator made all of this, you know, and each one of them has a purpose here on this earth. Here. That is why we call it Mitaki you know, When you die, you don't know what you're going to become of, but when you leave this world, your body returns to the earth to fertilize it again. So it could be part of the grass, part of a herb, part of a medicine, part of a tree, part of something, you know, like that. So this life was uh, given to me. Uh, today I'm talking about my spiritual life, you know, my spiritual life as a mitakwe asa. And uh, for for instance, this land here, I'm talking here on the Black Hills, the sacred land of my grandfathers and their grandfathers. You know. And uh, today, when I come through here, all the buffaloes were gone, and my ancestors were gone. And there were many roads and fences and many cows. And my own land, I cannot go nowhere because I seen posted of no trespassing. And it hurts my heart to see it says this land is for sale. In my own land. My grandfather said this is a sacred place, a holy place, the heart of Mother Earth. Then I seen them cutting trees for nothing because they're going to build a road here in the Black Hills again. See? My great great ancestors, my grandfathers and their grandfathers, crazy horse, they wanted to preserve this land for their grandchildren, which it is us. See? They don't want no roads. They don't want no wire, no fence, nothing. When the first time Columbus came, this was a land of free. See? Land of free. There was no tax. There was no ordinances. Only the laws of the Creator. See? Like that. So today, you know, it is, I'm very happy to come here, then I can uh, then I feel sad again. You know, each time I look at the Black Hills and I came through, you know. Because today we were placed on a small reservation known as uh, a Shannon County. You know. And my people learned the uh, European way, so they steal from one another and hate one another and cheated one another, stole one another's wife, money, car, and they fight 
about who's land and trespassing and all that. See? And that is not a Lakota way. You know? And the Lakota way, first you have to think about, see the person's heart. You gotta see the heart, you know. And understand that man, that human. Because that person was made by the Creator. See? He was made by Creator. Creator made a red man and a black man, a yellow man and a white man. Four men he made. See? He didn't make a Catholic and Episcopal. He didn't make none of these. This world is here, it's made in the beginning a spiritual world, not a religious world. Spiritual and religious is two different things that persons has to understand. See? So when he made these men, they made them as brothers, all of them, the medicine wheel. So when we're going to talk about and say metakwe oyas and all my relations, we have to mean it from here. We cannot go back with a fly spray and spray the cockroach. That's against the laws of the Creator. You must justify why, why you want to kill an insect. Why you want to kill a snake. Why you want to kill another human being. Why do you want to take the tree down? What does it say to you? Only the Creator has no the reason, you know. So this is when we're going to talk about Mitakwe or us, it's all over the world. You know, I travel this world, not only the United States, I travel this world. See? And the message I bring is Mitakwe or us, see? all my relations, all my relatives, that's it, like that. So I hope, you know, whoever watch this and see this, this is the real message coming out. There, in the real spiritual way, there's no criticism, there's no racial, there's no discrimination, anything in the spiritual way. So if you're going to be a spiritual person, you better be a spiritual person. You know? And otherwise, if you're not going to be spiritual, don't come around spiritual. Simple. As simple as yes and no. That's it. Simple as that. Because we are the seventh generation. The seventh generation of mixed bloods. That's who we are. There's only few originals, aboriginals. You know, my wife, Nyla, she's uh, one of the aboriginals. You know. And uh, her grandfather, Samuel Helper, was in the Wounded Knee Massacre. But Samuel Helper survived that massacre. That is why my wife is here. And that is a evidence right there. See? So when we're going to say mitakwe oyase, mitakwe oyase, we're going to have to come from your heart, you know. Not from your tongue or not from your mind, you know. We are. Because today, the seventh generation is the last generation. After this, there is no more generation. See? That is why we have gatherings like this all over. That is why there's mechs coming all over. Because we are the seventh generation. You too, all of you here are seventh generation. See? The future is here, present, right here. And like the prophecies have said, fire starts all over. Not this forest fire, this wars. You know, they created, they awakened the beast. And now the beast is up. And it's going to make its round. And the last stop it's going to stop is here on this turtle island. See? And that's the time it is going to be important whether you're spiritual or you're a Republican government. It's going to be very important.
because where they awaken the beast is when they started the two uh, big towers, big building fall down. You know. Crazy Horse once said he humbled it like on the June month, 1876, somewhere back there. And his last one, he said, great ashes, they become brighter than day, he said. And great ashes fall from sky and cover the earth. He said. But only God's children, next morning, God's children live again, he said. Where the new grass grow and the water was clear, he said. A new day has come. That's what he said. And before that, it was voices of the children. We passed that now. Children, 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 children's children, headlines all over. We heard that. And now we passed that. Now we are here. When he says they become brighter than day, what does he really mean? You know? And when he said great ashes fall from sky, cover the earth. This is right here. See? Nostradamus' prediction is over there. Creator put this man in each continent to predict what's going to happen. See? And this is now. But they don't want to listen to this Indian because he's an uneducated Indian, you know. This Indian, they think they have a mental problem because he speaks to the air and he speaks to the rocks and trees and everything that's around, see. So whoever, you know, I hope this message get over there. And whoever watching this, you know, I hope you get this message. You know. Because when the day has come and when it gets closer, they said, we're going to sing with our ancestors. And we're going to dance with our ancestors. And after that, we're going to live with our ancestors, they said. That's what we've been told. So, Mitakuyas, it covers all the way around, all the way, like that. Well, <clears throat> before I conclude here, <clears throat> I always uh, sing a song, you know, about uh, the Creator looked down upon us, you know, recognized me as I, as I travel today, you know, like that. And uh, I'm going to sing this song. And uh, this is uh, just, you know, it's a blessing. I travel. We travel. Me and my half side, we travel all over like that, you know. But I'm going to sing this song. It's, that's what the wording is. Creator, watch over me or watch over us as we travel, you know, on this day, like that. <coughs> How Ancestors to hear me. See. Hello, Metakwas. Oh. <clears throat> 